Hello everyone to another Katan video. So I am in the last position and seems like when it gets to me I will have a very difficult choice to make. Red here will should surely go for 8 5 10 or 6 3 4 grab the best ore and wheat combination I would say. Yeah, so seems like red should go for 8, 5, 10. Yeah, red does go for that. Gray here should go for 6, 3, 4. Yeah. So if gray goes for 6, 3, 4, yellow has quite a few choices. 9, 5, 10, 6, 9, 10 and 8, 10, 11 all seem to be pretty decent options. Gray is taking quite some time to decide what they want to do. So yeah, so based on these assumptions, I'm not sure what the best choice for me would be. I believe I might have to go for something like 8, 4, 11 and 6, 3, 12. Yeah, gray does go for 6, 4, 3, which makes complete sense here. Yellow might go for 6, 9, 10 or 9, 5, 10. Yellow does go for 6, 9, 10. I can go for 8, 10, 11, but at this point I feel 8, 4, 11 is slightly better although I won't have any ore but the proximity to the wood port is important for me I would say and uh, 6910 is also good it's the highest producing spot on this board at this point I can also go for something like 6910 and uh, 942 and that way, although I do not have any ore, but I will have all the other resources. 8, 4, 11, 6, 9, 10, I will be playing a game without any wheat or ore. So might be a difficult game in that sense. In any case, I think I am running out of time. So I will go for 6, 9, 10 first. And now I have to decide between 945 uh, sorry 942 and uh, 8411 I still don't like 81011 too much uh, because although I will be getting some ore I believe the wood port is a lot more important to me If I go for 942 I can build on the 62 and on 52 so that is a decent option to consider but if gray gets something like 8411 or yeah so they will have a much stronger position in that way so based on all that logic I will still go for 8411 which was my first choice yeah, 942 is also a pretty strong position. As I said, I can build on 62 and on 52 later on. So I don't think that would have been a bad choice. And at this point, I believe yellow and I will both be fighting for the wood port. Yellow does produce quite a lot of wood uh, as well. Uh, so do I. Luckily, yellow does point to the right. So seems like yellow might not be fighting for the wood port. So my game plan would be to build on the wood port, on the brick port and on 810. I can also build on 65. Uh, but all those options, it seems a little difficult to do uh, if I won't be able to get any wheat. Based on the wood and brick production, I should be 
getting the longest road in this game gray here has a difficult choice to make but i think gray can go for 9 to 4 point to the left and build on the 3 to 1 port the other option gray has is building on 6 3 12 but that doesn't help much wow that is really surprising gray builds on 9 11 and might point downwards and try building on 4-5 later on yeah that's what grey does it does point downwards and now i believe red has the same options as grey did either go for 6-3-12 or go for 9-4-2 i think 9-4-2 will be a pretty strong spot for red especially if they are able to build on 5-2 and on the 8-3 port red is taking quite some time to think about their option which makes complete sense it is a difficult choice it does go for 9-4-2 gets a 7 early on i believe red might target me because i have the brick or can target gray probability wise it's better to target gray but uh, not sure what red would do yeah red does target gray blocks me as well but um, i think that's okay if offered a trade i would uh, okay so red was able to get a break from gray so a lucky pull there A 6 does roll, that's pretty good for me. I might actually offer a brick for wheat. And 11 rolls and uh, that blocks my brick. That's a little unfortunate. Red accepts it and yellow accepts it as well. Uh, I wouldn't want to trade with red. Uh, I believe red is in a stronger position. So I will be trading with uh, yellow there and I'll end my turn with the cards I have in hand. So now I need a six to roll and I will be able to get my settlement on the wood port. Yeah, I don't think so. Yellow will be accepting that trade. Yellow doesn't want to give away the brick. Uh, that's the only brick yellow has at this point. And because a couple of nines did roll, yellow has an extra sheep in hand. Oh, sorry, I meant extra wood in hand. Five rolls. Uh, not much that I can do with these cards. Let me just offer a sheep and see if somebody is willing to trade it. I don't want a wood. I would rather get a ore or a wheat. Yeah, red does accept it, so that's good for me. Uh, getting the ore, rare ore a resource that i don't produce and a six also rolls so i will be able to get my settlement 
although that does seem like a good trade uh, but i won't be accepting it just yet i wouldn't want to give away my maybe not the worst choice but yeah uh, red ends the turn anyway i now do have 9 cards uh, sorry 8 cards in hand so i am afraid to roll a 7 I roll another five. At this point, I think I can offer a brick for ore. Uh, let's see. I believe this trade can go through. Uh, Red wants to give a wood. I don't want that. how about i get a trade like this this would be a pretty strong trade for me as well i don't mind giving up a road uh, because i don't i produce a, a lot of those cards a brick for wheat is not the worst trade right now but i wouldn't want to give red a settlement this early on in the game so based on that logic i will just end my turn and maybe i can build another road towards the brick port but rather i just hold on to it so that i can build on the 6 5 spot build couple of roads and build a settlement on 6 5 that will be pretty strong for me so i am being a little aggressive with these trades uh but that's because i am playing a game without any wheat or ore so i need to be a little um extra cautious about what trades i accept and don't accept seven rolls i believe uh, yellow can block the 10 sheep or maybe the 4 wheat is also a decent option here wow yellow solo blocks me on the 9 sheep that is really surprising uh, and i don't even think that's a right choice i do roll an 8 here uh so maybe i can ask for two wheat yeah really surprising that yellow blocked me on nine sheep and not uh, target and did not target red or gray how about a one is to one trade maybe red might be willing to accept that if red doesn't accept any trade i will build towards the brick port at this point yeah seems like red is not accepting the trade i can still try and hold on to these cards and build on 65 that is surely an option i can also try building on the 810 yeah so based on that logic i will hold on to these cards building on the brick port or the 3s to 1 port isn't as important just yet and being able to build on 8 10 or the 6 5 would be pretty strong i would say if i'm able to build on 4 5 that would be 
द बेस्ट केस सिनारी बट नॉट श्योर इफ दैट वुड बी पॉसिबल so a couple of tens do roll here uh i should be able to build a couple of roads let's see if anybody wants a sheep red is red did not respond to my trade in the previous turn so i'm not sure if red is going to respond red is taking quite some time to respond to trades so that's a little worry some yeah seems like red is not going to respond in that case i will just build a couple of roads and end my turn here i still do plan to build towards the 4 5 spot that would be a pretty strong settlement spot for me when red accepts a trade with yellow so does roll a 7 so i believe we should be blocking the 6 brick or maybe the 8 wheat yeah blocks the 6 uh, brick and steals from me I think yeah, grey ends the turn with eight cards in hand. I uh, don't think that's the right choice. They could have easily uh, built a couple of, uh, taken a couple of dev cards, or at least one for sure. I am a little worried that yellow might want to plow me on the uh, six five spot, if especially if they have a year of plenty or a road building in hand. They play the knight and blocks red, which is okay. pretty decent but yeah luckily they aren't building towards the 65 so that's a good sign for me at this point i would love to roll a 7 instead i roll another 6 let's see if i can get a brick for wheat trade maybe red accepts it uh, not sure red hasn't been responding to trade so uh, can't say if the trade will go through let me just mention it in the chat yeah seems like red is not willing to respond to trades in that case i think i'll just hold on to the cards i have and end my turn here i do roll another 6 and an 8 so i will be able to build at least another road in at this point but uh, not sure if i'll be able to build a road and a settlement yeah maybe gray will be able to cut me off if not uh, yellow and do roll another 6 here so gray is also in a pretty strong position now yellow is the first one to get a city the not what i expected a nine rolls here let's see what if i can get any trades i would want to get a uh, wood or a wheat yeah 
yeah i wouldn't mind that trade either this way i will be able to do a 4 is to 1 uh let me offer a trade like this i think it might be a little hard to reject it yeah but it does reject it so yeah, at this point i don't think i can do much i just have to do a 4 is to 1 and build a settlement on the 6 5 i wouldn't want to hold on to all those cards just to build on 4 5 and get stolen or being cut off a 5 does roll so that does give me a over now Yeah, does target yellow, which is pretty good. Yellow already has a city and has played two dev cards or two knights. So that is surely something people should keep in mind. I believe at this point, yellow would block the five ore. Okay, blocks the six ore. I'm completely okay with that. Do roll another six here. So I will be building a road towards the brick port now. A four rolls, uh, that's the first four of the game. A pretty rare roll there. So this eight is pretty strong for me. I will be able to get a settlement on the brick port as well. Yeah, I believe if a six rolls, I can also build a settlement on the eight wheat. Uh, if I'm able to get a sheep for wheat trade, so that is also something that I would uh, surely keep in mind. Yeah, seems like yellow is trying to get another city uh, by asking two wheats. I believe in the end they might just go for a single dev card. Or they might just run out of time. Okay, they just build a sing they build a couple of roads towards 810, uh, which is completely fine. I do roll another eight. Yeah, and I believe uh, red has still not been responding to trades, uh, so don't think this trade will go through let's see what yellow has to offer yellow doesn't accept any like yellow just rejects the trade i don't think they have any wheat so based on that logic i will just build a settlement on the brick port now and now my next plan is to get a city on 8411 and get a city on six nine ten i could also try building on the three to one port once i get a city a six is a pretty decent roll for me uh does help me get a two is to one I can offer a sheep for a wood. I don't, um, if that trade goes through, I will be able to do a two is to one to get couple of, uh, I'll be able to do two two is to ones to get couple of uh, wheat. But two rolls, uh, wow, that's 
really a rare roll here let's see if i can get any trade here i would accept uh, yeah and i will still wait for red to respond yeah seems like red is not going to respond to any trades a little unfortunate there but at this point i think i should get a single dev card it's a big risk holding on to these cards in hand so i do get a monopoly so that is a very very good dev card for me Yeah, so it's unfortunate that red doesn't respond to trade when we offer it, but is expecting us to accept all trades that red is offering. So I wouldn't mind rolling a four or a nine on my turn. Today is the year of plenty, so I believe we'll be able to get a city now. And getting a city on the 8510 would be pretty strong for red. A 5 does roll here, uh, so that is that gives me a ore that I'm looking for. And also a 8 roll. So I will be able to play a monopoly on wheat and be able to get 3 wheats from uh, red. I wouldn't mind if a four rolls now and then playing a monopoly on wheat would be even stronger. Yeah, so four or eight would be pretty decent rolls for me. Instead, I roll a seven. So now red has to give up uh, four of their cards and most likely they will be giving up their wheat. Yeah, red gives up all four wheats. So that's a little unfortunate there for me. But luckily, I am able to pull a ore from red. Uh, so I will be able to get my city now. And I will get a city on the 8-4-11 spot. Does help me quite a lot. So I should be looking to build a longest road now and also get another settlement and a city uh, that will just help me win the game. The 8 does roll so I can play a monopoly on wheat if uh, needed. Again, I would love to roll a 4 on my turn. As the 6 ore is unblocked, I can also, if a 6 rolls, I can also play a monopoly on ore. So that is also an option for me.
so yellow uses six ores there so yeah i do roll an 11 so there is an option that i can still play a monopoly on wheat i know red has at least three of it and uh, yellow has two so i'll be able to get five monopoly five wheat and i'll be able to get the longest road and a settle and a I can I'll be able to get a longest road and a dev card so maybe that wouldn't be the worst case here actually I can just get a road settlement and get a dev card so I think that is also an option for me so I will go for that option first and get a dev card here if it's a victory point that will be very very strong for me it's a knight uh, now all i need is to build a couple of roads uh, sorry build a single road and a city and i'll be able to get the longest road and win the game Yeah, I don't think fighting for the largest army is a good option for me, especially because red already has uh, three dev cards in hand and has played a single knight. Uh, even yellow has played two knights, so they already have a huge lead over me, over my, uh, over in the race of largest army. So I do roll a 6 at this point, uh, so I can easily get the longest road here. Let's see, let me get a dev card first. If it's a victory point, I just win. Unfortunately, it's another knight. At this point, I think building towards 9-12 is an option for sure. Uh, building anywhere else, uh, like if I build a road over here, red can cut me off. So I think building towards the 912 is a decent option and I also get the longest road now. Red will surely be playing the knight. Wow, red doesn't play the knight, so that is really surprising. Unfortunately, red is still able to roll a 7, so should be blocking my 8 brick or the 6 wheat. Yeah, uh, sorry, 6 brick or the 8 wood. And steals from me. And plays the knight. Wow, so. Not sure why red didn't play the knight before rolling the die, but. Yeah, red will be able to get the largest army in the next turn so i should be focused on getting a city rather than getting or going for any dev cards now
not sure what the best option for me would be on my turn. I believe blocking the 9 wood is just fine. And I will continue stealing from red. But I don't see an easy path for me uh, to win the game immediately. So because a 6 rolled, I will be able to build another road here. And now I have an option to build a settlement or a city. So that is surely a good thing. A 9 does roll. Uh, but because the 9 wood is blocked, nobody gets anything else. Uh, anything except for me getting a couple of sheep here. Red does play the road building here, so I think Red had the idea of getting the largest, uh, sorry, getting the longest road. Don't think Red will be able to build a couple more roads here, yeah. Wouldn't want any 7s to roll at this point. Uh, 7 does roll, so that's a little unfortunate. Uh, yellow will surely be targeting me now. Steals my brick. So now I believe uh, uh, 8, uh, 11, a uh, 6 will give me the victory. Oh, seems like yellow is cutting me off on the 9-12 spot. So I will not be getting a victory. Yeah, so now yellow is able to get the longest road. But if I still get a settlement on my turn, I will still be able to steal the... Yeah, so that's just GG. Uh, pretty close game, I would say. Especially with the cards that I had in hand. Uh, I started with no ore and no wheat. I am still ending the game with a single wheat on the 12 spot. Oh, that's a huge mistake by me. I just realized that I cannot build any more settlements because I already have five settlements built. So that's a huge, huge mistake for by me, I would say. Yeah, at this point, wow. I'm just becoming a little overconfident and losing the plot. And I get a victory point here, so if I'm able to build a couple of roads, I will still be able to win the game. But um, just unfortunate that I did not keep track of how many settlements I have. I already have 5 settlements and I can't build any more on the 9-12 spot. And unfortunately, I pull a victory ka, a victory point here. Uh, I would have not had an issue if I pulled a, a knight. I would have been able to get a largest army in that case. But now I wouldn't. Not sure why red is trying to go for the longest road. It's very difficult for red to get the longest road. 
this game. So don't think that's the right choice for red. Let's see if yellow is able to build another road this turn. If not, I will be able to build a couple of roads and win the game with the longest road and the victory point that I received in the last turn. Yeah, yellow is able to build another road. So now I need a 11 or a 6 to roll. Instead, I roll a 9. Yeah, not sure what the best option for me is. I believe I can go for a single dev card and if I am able to get a knight, I will be able to win with the largest army. So I'll go for that option. I do get a knight. So I should be able to win the game in the next turn uh, by getting the largest army. And I will build another road here uh, just to make sure that yellow keeps in yeah, building a road doesn't help me at all. I cannot get the la longest road anymore. So my only cause of concern is if yellow is able to win the game in this turn, that will be my downfall. But apart from that, uh, I can easily play my knight and win the game in the next turn. A uh, four rolls, uh, that is, mm, I mean, I don't mind the four anymore, uh, especially because yellow doesn't get any cards. And at this point, I'm only worried about yellow. Yeah, I think that's GG now. Uh, don't think yellow will be able to get two points. Yeah, does go for another road, which is completely fine by me. I am no longer fighting for the longest road now. So that's just game over now and a very, yeah, this game need, should not have been as tense as it became in the end. Uh, it was completely my mistake of not counting how many uh, settlements I had already built. Oh, I think I was, a, I was pretty lucky with all these sixes and eights rolling. Uh, which is pretty good for me. Very few four rolls, uh, four rolled, four would have been pretty strong for me. And I am able to get a uh, nine and a half ELO rating. So that is also pretty good. I think that should push me in the, in the top 500 uh, is what I guess. Yeah, I am at 480 now. Uh, so Pretty strong uh, at 13-12 uh, ELO. Yeah, top 20 is still a very, very long way away. Maybe I can fight for the top 100 if I continue winning games like this. Yeah. Uh, anyway, bye for now and see you again in the next video.